What's up guys, Spartan McGrew here, and I'm about to spit some Destiny strategy at you for the weekly Nightfall Strike. This week is on Devil's Lair, with extra void damage and extra movie damage enabled. Let's get to it. So, this is the first area that's likely to give you trouble, the stupid grid door thing, you gotta get through and the robot's breaking through, you gotta beat up a bunch of melee enemies, and they do extra melee damage, there's stealth vandals, and they'll pretty much annihilate you. So, there is a way to pretty much cheese this spot, and it's you run back here. This little protective crystal cave, basically the enemies, they'll shoot at you, but they won't actually run past a certain point in that green cave behind me. It's just a... Uh, you know, design of it, they, they, uh, you can use the, the slope of the cave for cover, but they won't run back there, so you don't have to worry about the melee, you just have to worry about the gunfire. And it's really not too bad, you can use that definitely if you're having trouble with this spot. So this next part is the Fallen Walker mini boss, and a lot of people like to use the building on the far right and use the cover over there. I like to use this spot directly right here. I go bust out a sniper rifle and a scout rifle, usually works best combination and you just sit there and shoot his legs from here. The advantage of this spot is as long as you use the cover of these uh, thingies in front of me, whatever they might be, he really can't hit you with that big rocket shot. He'll shoot it, and sometimes he won't even shoot it, like right here, he's just like meh, 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 not wanting to shoot it. And all you have to worry about is these enemies that come up behind you. It's just a fallen captain and a fallen vandal will spawn every now and again. And just keep your eyes out and kill him. Remember that if you have any extra good void weapons, they, it will do uh, extra damage. That void damage is killer on this Nightfall Strike. And the footage you're looking at is actually from the weekly Heroic Strike, but all the strategies, you know, it applies exactly the same way to the uh, Nightfall. In fact, I think the Nightfall Strike is probably easier if you have void weapons to do the damage, because the weekly Heroic doesn't have uh, you know, an extra damage modifier you can take advantage of like that. And now we have come to our final part, battle against Septic Prime. And this is actually pretty easy also. He does the extra void damage, so you have to watch out, but I personally didn't think he was doing all that much damage to me at level 28 that I was at when I was fighting him on the solo Nightfall Strike. Here on the weekly, he, well, he doesn't have the extra void burn damage, so I can't say much about the weekly. But the Nightfall, yeah, he's, he's really not that bad. The area I like to hang out is right underneath where we're at. So you come in, I know you probably know to clear out the enemies, and then he gets pissed off at you. But if you jump down below and uh, just use the area down beneath here as cover, there we go, see he's pissed off. And I like to just hang out here. And if I get in trouble, you can run behind you, behind where I'm at, and there's a stairway, hallway over there, and you can just hang out in there, and enemies really don't mess with you too much. A ship will come down at one point and probably drop off some uh, fallen guys, but you can just use the cover to take them out and they, they don't melee at you as far as I can tell from me sitting down there. It wasn't getting uh, threatened by them running up on me too much, so this is just an easy spot. It's not too bad. You just sit here and take him out. Uh, this netball strike is really not that difficult in comparison to some of the other ones I've tried. And I hope you guys enjoyed this short guide at uh, Septic Prime and the Devil's Nightfall Strike. Uh, next week, I'll be trying to come in and do another strategy for you guys, so keep your eyes open. Take it easy. Well done. Sepix Prime cast a great shadow over our city. With its destruction, the fallen devils will grow weaker. But we must stay vigilant. The fallen are crafty, and they will find ways to survive. <laughs>